and I took them a stone and slain it and smote the Philistine in his forehead. That the stone sunk into his forehead and he fell upon the face of the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone. All right. I'm almost done, but I've come to let you know this time the fight is not going to take much. All right. All right. Ah, my God, whatever it took you to win all the other stuff, this time God says it's not going to take much. Oh, I dare you to believe it today. This time, cussing is not necessary. This time, drinking is not necessary. This time, uh, 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 fighting ain't necessary. God said this time, it's not going to take much. Go ahead, yes. I had a believer in this house. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm getting over a cold, but this time it's not gonna take much. Yes. Whatever you've been going through, young people, look at weave and tell weave, it's not gonna take much. Alright. To win this fight. Yes. The thing I like about it, I think I like about it, is 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 God is is awesome in the way that he wrote this through Samuel. Yes. It, 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 it's awesome how how, how how God it's called situational irony. It is funny how 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 Goliath as big and as bad as he was, it only took a sling and a stone to kill him. Right. Some of us think that in the midst of the fight that we need weapons of mass destruction. We think that we're going to have to bring out the big guns. We think that we're going to have to bring out the grenades and the Uzis and all of these things, but God told me to tell you all you gotta do is get back in prayer. All you gotta do is get back in fasting. Do what we used to do to get the results. Do what we used to do to get the blessing. Do what we used to do to get what God gave to us. Fighting ain't our success formula. Trusting ain't our success formula. Fighting ain't our success formula. Prayer and fasting. Oh my God to be. If we return back to the altar like we want to, like we should do. Returning back to the altar means you're going to have to block up your ear gates and block up your eye gates and block up your mouth gates and block up your soul gates. Sometimes you're going to have to get down on your knees again. Oh my God, today if it works for mother, it'll work for you. If it works for father, it'll work for you. If it works for uncle, it'll work for you. If it works for grandma, it'll work for you. We need to learn how to return back to the altar. When we learn how to return back to the altar. When we will learn how to return back to the altar. When we learn how to return back to the altar. God will bring what we need back to us. The Bible says, draw nigh unto me. And I'll draw nigh to you. The Bible says come and let us reason together. The reason why you're not getting any blessings is because you're not sending any praises. The reason why you're not getting anything is because you're not getting him anything. The reason why you're not getting any answers is because you're not giving him any praise. The reason why you're not getting any blessings is because you're not giving him any praise. The reason why you're not getting any blessings is because you're not giving him any praise. The reason why you're not getting any
Muhammad was George Foreman. Yeah. They said that he was bigger than Muhammad Ali. They said that he was better than Muhammad Ali. How many of you know that many people bet against you all your life? But I'm going to let you know that David had a strategy. David had it in his bag. Look at somebody and say, it's in your bag. Yeah. <laughs> 